Shalom, Yashala, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Yasha Allah. Kol Holoyim La Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Harakakudash for blessing our elders with the spirit of truth so that we may know. Shout out to the Akim and the Akwa that's keeping the faith in the works. Y'all keep at it. It's your brother Abaya coming at you with more precepts. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 37, and verse 12. It says, The wicked plotteth against the just and gnasheth upon him with his teeth. This devil got some real life plans for society uh, as a whole, but with a focus on the most highest people because of um, what they are trying to gain through these plots and plans. They're really trying to regain their birthright because they understand that their kingdom is coming to an end. So the only thing that's next is the birthright. So they want to have their cake and eat it too, but it don't work that way. Right. So I'm going to let this video play now. With what's about to be said in this video, I can't 100% say that it's all the way uh, accurate. So, you know, uh, take it for what it is. Um, but nevertheless, I'm finna let this video play and I'll be back. This should infuriate you. Pay attention. They're telling you to your face. I have been saying this for so long and finally we have someone from inside the club come out and confirm that everything we're thinking is absolutely correct. I think the problem that we've had is that we've, you know, we, we have... People decided they didn't really want to work so much anymore through COVID, and that has had a massive issue on productivity. You know, tradies have definitely pulled back on productivity. You know, they, they have been paid a, paid a lot to do not too much in the last few years, and we need to see that change. We need to see unemployment rise. Unemployment has to jump 40 50%, in my view. We need to see pain in the economy. We need to remind people that they work for the employer, not what? the other way around. I mean, there is a... There's been a systematic change where employees feel the employer is extremely lucky to have them. What? Um, as opposed to the other way around. So it's a dynamic that has to change. We've got to kill that attitude. And what? that has to come through hurting the economy, which is what the whole global, oh, you know, the, the world is trying to do. The governments around the world are trying to increase unemployment. Is that not the conspiracy that we... No. <clears throat> oh, for me, just checking to see how true this is. As far as the person that's speaking and what he said. I'm looking it up on the Independent, um, which is a news site. And, yeah, it's pretty much it's validating everything that we just saw. It says a multimillionaire property developer from Australia has sparked fury for calling for unemployment to rise to 50% while claiming workers became arrogant during, you know, the um that thing that happened in 2020. So yeah, <laughs> there, there it is. <laughs> right, the wicked plotter, and if you heard what he said, um, basically during that thing, people felt like they really didn't need to work like that. You know what I'm saying? And to be honest with you, in this day and age, and the different ways it is to make, you know, funds, if you are, you know, techno technologically uh, savvy, um, it's different ways to make money. And the people, well, a lot of people are, you know, experiencing it, like they live in it, that they don't have to go clock in at a nine to five and put up with, you know, what average everyday people put up with, they can make their own funds. Esau eat them like, nah, damn that. Y'all need to get y'all ass back out in the plantation and get y'all minds right. You know what I'm saying? Like what Elon Musk was saying, the people, any, anybody working from home, they need to stop that and bring them back in the office. Well, the question would be why? And he just answered. The reason why is because they need your mindset to get back into servitude, right? Get back into the, that slavery mindset. All right, but we all understand that all of this ain't doing nothing but leading up to Revelation 13. 
right? Universal basic income. Well, and they've been talking about that too. You know, linking it up with um, digital digital currency, giving everybody a stipend of payments per month. And that stipend of payment, you ain't got to work. You know what I'm saying? Or if you do work, you'll still get the stipend. Um, but it'll come with like a social credit system, meaning anything that the government deems uh, uh, you shouldn't speak about, don't speak about it if you want your stipend of funds. Right? So, so like, one second. Uh, so this is the book of Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 15. It says, See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. All right, so like I said, um, with that, you know, digital currency that's coming all around the world and that universal basic income that will be attached to it, um, they'll give a monthly stipend of funds for individuals, but you won't be able to Basically, the rights that the quote unquote rights that you have, according to like the Constitution, it won't be valid because it's it, uh, and then it really already started like the freedom of speech. You ain't you're not able to speak on whatever it is you, you want to speak on, how it is you want to speak on it, because the powers that be say you can't, even though according to paper they have, you know, you got the free on uh, the freedom of speech. They've been tampering with the freedom of speech for a while, but it's all for a cause because of what's coming. So I'm going to let this play. In nine days, free speech could change forever because we could have on our hands a Supreme Court case that challenges our ability to speak freely on social media. This is an update to the case where the Biden administration has been begging the courts to please let us keep censoring social media. We did it so well during the pandemic. We love it. We're drunk on that power. We need to keep going. Now, again, this is an update to the case brought by Missouri and Louisiana attorneys general. And in July, Judge Terry Dowdy ruled that the Biden administration had violated all of our First Amendment rights by working directly with social media to censor speech about COVID and other topics. He ruled the government cannot do that anymore. So the Biden administration appealed saying, please repeal this ruling. We need to keep doing that. We want to censor American speech. And we got a ruling just last Friday. The court. Now, Notice how they said they had to go to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court said they couldn't do it. Why? Because of the, uh, uh, I believe it's the, what, the Second Amendment? One of those amendments. <laughs> I don't know it, like, you know what I'm saying, offhand. I believe it's the second one. Or well, maybe it's the first one. Hold on. Yeah, it's a lot. So the First Amendment is the speech, and I believe the Second Amendment is the uh, right to bear arms. Right, but anyway, they've been tampering with their First Amendment for a while, right? But the Supreme Court is trying to uphold it. But this is also letting you know that Uncle Sam can do whatever the hell it is they really want to do if they really want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because like, like she just said, they went to the Supreme Court and they said they shouldn't have done what they did. All of the medical misinformation, all of the taking down of videos, taking down of content, right? Challenging information that was coming out to the point to where uh, uh, people were uh, demonized for speaking the truth. It really wasn't supposed to be done, but it happened. Gave them 10 days before the ruling goes into effect to see if they want to appeal it to the Supreme Court. My guess is that they do. They want to do this. But the ruling did mostly uphold the edict that the government should not be working with social media to censor speech, but it's very specific. I want to take you through it because I want you to see what the government's, what our own government is arguing it should be able to do to us. It's amazing. I mean, this is the year 2023 and the federal government is trying to argue in the courts for the power to censor speech. This is our most basic freedom and we need to see what they're doing. So here is the ruling, the court ruling on what the government is doing. This is sort of their summary that the plaintiffs argued that the government had been doing this big, bad First Amendment abuse. They said, we agree. The government should not be doing this. Um, they showed examples such as this. Here is one social media reaching out to 
um, being reached out by the government saying, hey, you know, I don't think we're saying you should remove vaccine hesitancy, but it's reasonable to slow it down. Uh, why is that? What's the, what's the difference? Slow, right. it, slow it down. Yeah. Um, here's a government official explaining that, you know, hey, you know, other social media companies seem to be able to get this right. What's wrong with you? They're sort of playing the bad. Uh, Starting a business is a risky venture, but that doesn't. Playing the bad, uh, the bad dad here. Like, you know, I, other people, other companies are doing exactly what we say. Why can't you? Um, See? Right, so even though they knew they weren't supposed to do it, they still did it, which really is a testament to how this place really operates. You know what I'm saying? And why I I have no idea why the common individual can't get it. I mean, I do, because the Most High is not allowing them to get it. But it's so blatantly in your face now. Right, it it should be to the point to where. Like information as such should be common knowledge, at least. Not even on no trying to inspire a person to do one thing or the other, but just this common knowledge should be just that. Right? They also point out, now this is all from the opinion, from the final ruling of these judges. So every time we get a ruling, we see all these examples of how bad the government's been. Here's another one. Uh, they had actually, the government succeeded in having a video removed from the Louisiana Department of Justice. The department See, even going on to when that thing first hit, you had doctors, you had morticians, right? People whose word you can really take as it pertains to their job that got labeled as misinformation. Right? It got labeled as a like it was deceiving or something, but it was actually true, right? But like I said, all of this is, all of this is just leading up to Revelation thirteen. What the what the millionaire said or billionaire said from the jump, as far as unemployment goes and how they need to increase it. You know what I'm saying? To basically put the fear of uh, Uncle Sam and the system inside of the people because that's something that they losing. Esau needs your fear. I've made um, content on that before. Esau needs your fear. He needs your faith in him in order for him to still be. Right? Now, as far as the men and women of the Lord goes, that, that's over with. And they know it. That's also why they're going into this uh, um, freedom of speech tampering with. Because they want to stop the word from going out. And eventually, they will succeed at that thing. But it'll be too late as far as whose ears it needed to reach. That's why scripture says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. That's why it says that the Most High is holding back the destructive winds until he has sealed all of his servants in their forehead. Right? That Ezekiel 9 seal, the seal of exemption. Right? Um, so yeah, man. All of this, all of this is happening for a reason because all of it, all of it is prophetic. Right, let me see me get another one. All right, cool. Is the internet broken or something? So not only did we have a billionaire flat out tell us to our face that our governments are creating unemployment so we can get back in line. And not only did we find out today that the election year of 2024 is going to cost well over 10 billion dollars but right before cold and flu season and allergy season a fda panel deems ingredient in common cold medications as ineffective right as you're hearing on the news every single motherfucking day that covid is starting to spike all over again right so Going full circle, right? They've been speaking on this thing mutating to some whole other thing, and they've been saying that it's going to be, well, basically, society is going to go back into 2020, right? And we clearly can see the deception. We can clearly hear the deception, 
in the speech, in the words that they say, in the actions that they produce. So, all of this is leading up to what? Jacob's trouble, man. The stage is set. They got everything in order. Now all they got to do is just announce some shit. Right? And once the announcement made, then they can go on, on about their plans, which is why what they're doing with the Supreme Court is so important. Because Esau Edom got called out on the bull according to their paperwork. So now it's either does the paperwork stand or not? If not, then it's time to do away with the whole thing and create some new stuff, which takes me to them Georgia Guidestones, right, that mysteriously got destroyed. You know what I'm saying? That had the whole uh, um, idea for, uh, uh, you know, the New World Order, right? Had a population at, at a certain level, have people doing this, that, that, and the third. Right, all of this is around the corner, man. It's right before our eyes. So, like scripture said, man, walk circumspectly, not as fools. The FDA decides, eh, let's take those medicines away from you. And of course, as soon as they, you know, could, they already had you a new. But don't worry, cause there won't be any cold medication. Available for you. And that's something else I was tripping off of. They were saying that this new variant is supposed to be so dangerous and won't do won't, but before they even went to express that there was a new variant, it was already talking about the juice. Already talking about a brand new juice being developed, right? And working out the kinks on how to get that thing to the people. Right? The enemy is real life making moves, man. It, it, the, the comfort that you feel in this place is not real, right? What does what scripture say? When they say peace and safety, then what? Then comes sudden destruction, man. That's what's on the horizon, right? And like I said, it's leading up to Daniel chapter 12, Jeremiah 30, where it speaks about Jacob's trouble, a time such as never was since there was a nation. And the only thing that's going to get us out of it is your how about Shem your how shy? That's it. God dang. You know, something was speaking to my spirit this year and made me make sure that I made a bunch of fire cider. I made a bunch of uh, 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 cough syrups with onion and garlic. I, I have my home winter ready. And now I am so grateful that I am using herbs versus this shit because the people who are normal normally going to take this shit when all this shit starts to hit the fan because you know what it is because they're talking about it over and over again they're gonna be fucked they ain't gonna have nowhere to go so yeah yeah 2023 it just keeps getting better and better is all right so what i say is man um, like scripture said, and like I said earlier, man, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Right? Understand where your help come from and understand who the most high got in charge. Who the most high got running this earth. Right? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. You better understand how wicked this devil can get before it's too late. Right? To all of us that's in the know, and we already know what time it is, this is a beautiful time, you know, to witness. Because we're seeing the fall of our enemies. Right? So, yeah, man. I guess I'll leave it at that. There's a catch up, you know, on uh, the latest news that I've seen. All right, so with that, yeah, how about Shimmy? I was shout out to all these um, precepts in this video were edifying. Call Holoyam La, Yahweh Baha Sham, Yahweh Shai Baha Sham Harakakodash, Shalom Yashallah.